Mexican pizza <laughs> and you know what I'm a little bummed because the Mexican pizza is what I always get I love a Mexican pizza so I'm going to go through here's where we're at I want to go through today and I'm gonna get me a Mexican pizza I'm gonna get the family a little something else I'm gonna get it and then we're gonna make our own Mexican pizzas on the Blackstone griddle Taco Bell style, but a little hunger hussy flair too. All right, so let's order it up. Hold on one second. Get mine. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? I'm fine. What can I get for you? Let me get a number eight Mexican pizza combo, please. A number eight Mexican pizza combo. Yeah, with a half with a half sweet, half unsweet tea. All right, so we got home. I got I got change from church. I don't have any chips. sissy has got chips. Yeah. Um, so here's our Mexican pizza. This is what we're gonna recreate on a Blackstone. So it looks like it's like a crispy tortilla. Looks like they got some some refried beans on there, and they got some of the seasoned ground beef. Um, and I think on top here is kind of like a salsa and like a red sauce, like an enchilada sauce. That sounds pretty good. And then they got a bunch of cheese and tomatoes on top. I like a Mexican pizza. I'm a little, I'm a little bit bothered that they're letting it go. Dang. Anyhow, we're gonna church it up on the Blackstone griddle. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, here we are. We're on the back porch. We're gonna make this Mexican pizza. Okay, Taco Bell, what y'all doing? Why y'all taking a Mexican pizza away for? Hey, we're gonna do Hunger Hussy style on the Blackstone griddle and it's gonna be legit. All right, let's get to the ingredients and let's get to cooking. All right, folks, so our ingredients for our Mexican pizza is we got 80-20 ground chuck. I got a can of refried beans. I've added a little bit of water. It's actually a little like chicken powder you can use chicken stock i put a little bit of water in there as well just to kind of let it go i'm going to warm that up on the blackstone i got a little sour cream and some avocado we're going to mix that up with some of this tajin and we're going to make like an avocado crema i got some enchilada sauce in here so i can um, so i can swirl around make it incorporate a lot easier got another can just in case this would have been uh, really nice during my uh, sausage gravy video, so I wouldn't have broke the glass, but you know, here I am. Got some taco shells, I'm doing some flour tortillas. I got juice of a lime, that's gonna go into our avocado crema. Got some salt. Uh, for my toppings, I got uh, tomatoes as standard, and then I also got some red onions, some shredded lettuce, some cilantro, and this is a um, this is a serrano pepper. All right. Oh, and I'm just going to use. I just like this right here. Pretty good. Pretty easy. Uh, you can just use coriander, uh, chili powder, cumin, that kind of thing. But that right there is good enough for me. You can use whatever. All right, y'all. Let's get to cooking. All right. Welcome back. Hey. We're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the beef going over here on this side, and we're gonna use this side over here for our flour tortillas. Um, I think some folks may use uh, like a tostada. I think that's a little too hard, so I'm gonna fry up the flour tortilla on the blackstone, get it nice and crispy. That's what's gonna be our Mexican pizza base in the top. All right. All right. Pound and a quarter of Ground beef. Go ahead and get our, uh, this is our refried beans. I'm just gonna put those back here in the back, let them get, start to get happy. 
put this right here so that I will not burn my hand on that spoon whenever it comes time because I will pick it up and it's going to be hot and I'll drop it. So while that beef, while that beef is going, let's break it up. Break y'all up. I got this side over here, I got it on high. I got all of them on. I got this side on low, all right? So our avocado crema. So I've just got probably half a cup or so of, um, I got half a cup or so of sour cream. I got uh, about a half of avocado. And I'm gonna add some lime juice. It's a half a lime there, okay? Get some of this uh, Tajin sprinkle in there, and then just kind of mix it up, squish that avocado up. Sometimes I'll put this in the neutral bullet or the blender or whatever, but you don't have to. Uh, you can just you can just squish up the the avocado with your with your back of your spoon. Just be a man, okay? Just be a man. You want to kind of you want to lose. You don't want to like real loose, like water, but you want it to, uh, you want it to be where you can kind of drizzle it. Mm. That's good. It does need salt. I think it might need a little bit more lime juice too, to thin it out some more. Let's check our beef here. Somebody commented the other day, I kind of was like, what? He said, <clears throat> he's like, why do you why do you use two spatulas? Because the Japanese cooks do it, the tapenaki guys are like, no. You use one, keep everything from going everywhere else. You need two, you see that? It keeps it controlled, all right? That's why. So anybody out there wondering why, that's why. Y'all, this beef, this beef is about done. You don't want to brown too hard. I won't cut that down. Okay, we'll get back on this on this uh, crema. Somebody texting me. Who texting me? Thought it was that punk Josh, from Josh and Babe. <laughs> he likes to text me all times of the night. Hey, Huffy, what you doing? Hey, what you having for breakfast? What color are you painting your toenails today? You know, just general stuff, what people talk about, you know. All right, I'm going to move this over here just so I can get some of this grease out of the way. I don't want all that grease. All right. Take our taco seasoning. Taco! Taco! All right. Taco. Let me throw this away. Taco, taco. Alrighty. If you don't want to use two spatulas, you don't have to. Put a little bit of a little bit of water in there. Kind of constitutes everything. It'll make it nice and thick. In the meantime, in the meantime, let's. Check our beans. Beans, y'all good? Beans are good. They're getting nice and warm. All right, let's fry some shells. Not water. <laughs> oh boy, you see that? Huh? Silly boy. All righty. All right, I'm gonna fry these shells. Audio. Forgot to charge my batteries. Please be able to get it. 
you can put something on that if you want to flatten it out so they don't puff up. Probably a good thing to do. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Man, y'all, I gotta get cheese. I need cheese. All right, these are crisping up nicely. You can also just poke them, poke those air pockets, and they should be all right. Our beef is looking beautiful. Oh yeah, nice, nice and crispy. That's what kind of what you want right there. These are gonna be nice right here. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm going to start assembling this. I'm going to do some uh, refried refried beans first. Just going to put them on there. A little bit of our meat here. A little bit. And then now I just got like a Fiesta blend cheese, Monterey Jack, cheddar, queso, quesadilla, all that. Make it real cheesy now. Get real cheesy, like me. All right. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that enchilada sauce. I'm just gonna swirl it in, swirl, just like that. All right. Then put that on top, just like that. All right. So on the top, you want to put some of this enchilada sauce. Then we want to do cheese on top of that. And then, of course, we want to dome this bad boy. I'll do a little bit of steam. A few minutes few minutes try to um, try to melt that cheese right all right let's see what we got let's see what this cheese looks like oh yeah that's what you want all righty right there Woo, it's crispy nice and crispy too but what I want to do first is I'm gonna cut this I'll cut it first and then I want to add the toppings that I have on okay Nice and crunchy. There we go. Cut that in fours. Now. Now, Taco Bell, they just do this. Tomatoes. That's the way they do theirs. They send you on your way. Well, this is Hungry Hussy. This is what we do, all right? I'm going to do some shredded lettuce. Mine. Like that. Serrano peppers. Like that. Chopped red onions. Like that. Cilantro. Like that. That's all she wrote. Then, then is avocado cream. We're just gonna come in here. Just like that. Bam! Hungry Hussy, Mexican pizza, Taco Bell, get some of that! Y'all better be bring y'all better not take it out. That's all I gotta say. You better not. You best not. Alright, so we're done. We're gonna give us a try. And yeah, let's see how this goes. Look at that. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Oh my mercy, that crunch. Mmm. I get the beef with that uh, taco seasoning first, the crunch of that tortilla, 
shines through and that crema the crema shines through a lot it's got that Tajin seasoning on it and then um, I can taste the lime Tajin has a little lime seasoning in it too but man I'm getting some cilantro right there boy that's beautiful right here well y'all give us a try tell Taco Bell don't do it don't do away with the Mexican pizza hey I appreciate each and every one of you for watching uh, appreciate all the support appreciate all the love hey I'm gonna make some more of these for the family gotta get in here they eat they gotta eat they hungry all right so hey remember I love you I appreciate you and until next time folks hungry hussy is out peace let's fry some shells not water <laughs> oh boy you see that